Today, we're going to be talking about what a repricer is, how a repricer works and why you should care about it. And if you stick around, there's going to be a couple of bonuses. We're going to get started right now. This is what to sell on Amazon. I'm Horace. Let's go. Hello, hustlers. Thank you for spending some time with me today. My name is Horace, also known as La Machine. And this is what to sell on Amazon, where we talk all things selling on Amazon using the arbitrage business model. So we're going to be talking about the repricer software called Aura. And I'm going to be going over uh, a little bit of it. This is going to be part of a series similar to what we did with tactical arbitrage. So basically, I think that this software is worthwhile. I use it myself and I think that it would be beneficial to you. So as always, I'm just trying to bring things to you that are working for me. So let's just get into it right now. Number one, what is a repricer? Okay. Very simply, a repricer is software that will go out into your seller central account and it will change prices. It will adjust prices both up and down based on criteria that you set. So that is number one. What is a repricer? Okay. Number two, we're going to talk about how the repricer works. Now to do that, we're going to get, get into it a little bit. This video is not going to go much in depth as far as hands on, but in order for you to understand how a repricer works, particularly the aura repricer, we're going to go in and the way it works is it connects with your seller central account. Okay. You do an initial import where you import all of your items and then you have to go in and make sure that you set your strategy, your criteria, and then it will make the adjustments based on that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so here's what it looks like when you come to goaura.com. Here, let me let me highlight my cursor so we can follow along a little bit better. Um, now, you'll notice before you go any further, there is a free trial, and that is for 14 days. You do not want to use that because I can get you better than twice that amount of of time so just stay tuned till the end and we'll show you how to get a super extended free trial on that but the bottom line is this when we when we get in there this is pretty much what the layout looks like now we're gonna we're not gonna get into all of that right now we're gonna come down to strategies because we're talking about how does aura work the way it works is first you create a strategy you have to let the system know okay what's important to me and how do i want you changing my pricing so for example i have one just called buy box and when we when we come in we're gonna see and just to give you an idea okay once you come into your strategy you have to tell the system how to deal with your competitors, what is your pursuit, and what is your minimum and maximum prices, um, and also your maintenance. So, so we're looking at your competitors. Now you have to think, okay, I chose buy box, but you could say, hey, I'm competing with the lowest overall price, uh, lowest FBA. If all you do is FBA, you're not really worried about merchant fulfilled. What if you're doing merchant fulfilled? You're really not worried about FBA. It just depends. L look at lowest FBA, then lowest merchant fulfilled. Or you could say only buy box, which is what I got. Now look at, you can toggle uh, featured sellers only. Featured sellers are those that are eligible for the buy box. And of course, this is if there's a buy box on every listing, there is not a buy box, but here I should have this on. You could exclude Amazon as a competitor because I really don't, I have found, I don't really need to compete with Amazon. Amazon sets their price and they're done with it. So you're really not going to compete with them anyway. Um, you can exclude sellers by their feedback rating. So if they have a bad feedback, 
you really don't, you're not competing with them anyway. Because if they got a bad feedback, they're not going to get the buy box in a lot of cases. So you could, you could exclude competition with longer handling time because that is factored in. Customers don't want to wait. Okay. So you see how this is starting to, to come together. I don't sell used products, but if you did, there's even stuff for that. Now, when you come over to pursuit, look at, um, this is adjusting the actions that Aura will take in order to get you into the buy box. So how are you pricing against the competition? Okay. I'm saying uh, price below by 3%. Price differently against Prime. You see what I'm saying? There's just a lot you can get into. We're going to unpack this later in the series, but I'm just going over this to give you an idea of how a repricer works. I mean, Aura has a lot of features, so you'll have to make comparisons, but look at what, what do you want the software to do when there is no competition? Okay. What do you want the software to do when the competition is below your minimum price? Okay. Uh, what about when the competition matches your price? Okay. So, then, then I'm saying use the max price, um, when going out of stock. Okay. Cause at that point you, you're trying to like finish it out and get the most you want. Okay. Now we come over to the maintenance tab. Okay. What are we going to do to keep you in the buy box? That's what maintenance is all about. Once you've gotten the buy box, what do you want the system to do? I have it set to raise the price. OK, you could say, hey, don't do nothing. If I got it, it ain't broke. Don't fix it. I'm saying once I got the buy box, let's see if we can get a little bit more. You know what I mean? And how much are you raising it? I'm only raising it by a penny. Then you come over to your minimum and maximum pricing. Now, uh, I based mine on return on investment. OK, I want to make sure I get at least a. 20% return on investment, but you could say, Hey, you could do it manually. Uh, you can say your profit margin is what is, is more important to you. You could say you want to calculate a fixed amount. Okay. So guys, all I really wanted to do was give you an overview because you're going to want to know, okay, how does this stuff work? Okay. And then finally, you want to know why is this important to me? Why should I care about a repricer? All right, let's get into it. And this part is probably going to be the longest section and it's going to require you to think. So I need you to sit down and think. Okay. Number one, if you want to control the buy box, guys, if you're a buy box guy, you know who you are. You got your reasons but you want to control the buy box. Maybe you realize that much more of the velocity, the sales velocity takes place in the buy box. I think the last time I checked probably 85% and it could be different. Leave a comment if you know better, but I'm going to say around 80, 85% of all sales are happening in the buy box. So if you are controlling the buy box, you're in the mix. Now, as I said earlier, every listing doesn't have a buy box. That's going to be Amazon's you know, determination on whether or not they want to have a buy box for us to fight over in control or whatever. But here's the thing. If you want to, to sell your products as quickly as possible, you're going to have to adjust your prices and you're not going to be able to do that by hand as you grow your business going out there by hand and, and doing this works when you first get started, because here's what you got to understand. Prices are changing on Amazon easily. They can change every five minutes or even lower. Leave a comment if you know about just how fast they can change. They can probably change in as little as three minutes, you know, maybe even more because people are constantly inputting and changing. People are using repricers and you may have had a situation where you're like, man, I went out there, I changed my price and right away he went and changed it again. He didn't do it. He's probably using a repricer. Now you don't, you can, you can do this by hand 
until it just becomes overwhelming. At some point, you know, this is going to work when you got five products, 20 products, you start getting up 50, 100, 200 products. You're simply not going to be able to do it unless you're spending all of your time uh, using, you know, adjusting your prices. And you don't you don't want to spend your time doing that. That becomes a full time job. So if you want to control the buy box and not just that, if you want to sell your products faster, you will have to adjust your prices. OK, and it's just it's so dynamic. You're going to have to be dynamic along with that that activity. You need a robot doing it for you. But here's something else to consider. This is very important. Your main objective is to sell products at the highest possible price. Now, imagine you went and manually adjusted your price down and maybe all the competition sold out. Guys, this happens. And now you're the only person, the last man standing. You could have raised your price, but you weren't available to do that because you got other things you're doing you missed out on some potential profit. What if you had a, a, a robot that said, oh, you're the only guy out here. We can raise the price now and that way you get more revenue, okay? So that's another reason to have a repricer, not just to make sure that, that you move your products and sell your products quickly, but that you sell your products as quickly as possible at the highest asking price. Okay. You need to be doing both. Another reason that you would want to use a repricer. And again, hustlers, if you're using one, I really want you to chime in and help some people that might be considering going to a repricer. When you go to a repricer, you just went from the minor leagues of Amazon up to the major leagues. And when you do that, you're going to see your sales velocity, the number of sales, it's going to increase easily by 30% because now you're in a, you're in the big leagues. Okay. Some people, and it's okay. Your strategy is your strategy, but some people, they, they pick a product that they're going to sell. They set the price and they forget about it. It either sells or it doesn't. They have their own disposition. Some people may wait 60 days, 90 days, and if it still hasn't sold, they just tank the price to get rid of it or whatever they do. That's your strategy. But if you're trying to, to really have sales velocity, because what does that do? That gets you that revenue back so that you get profit, so that you get that, that capital that you can put back into your replenishables and products that are working good for you. The quicker you can get that, that revenue, the quicker you can get that capital back, the quicker you can continue to build your business. That's what this is all about. And I'm telling you, initially, when you use, when you first switch over to a repricer, you're going to see your sales velocity really raise because you just went from the minors up to the big leagues. Now, once it gets there, now you're on another level and you're not going to see it continue just going up and up and up. You're, you're now playing at a, at a, at a higher level. OK, so what happens is this. It's it's about growing your business and stepping up to a higher level in the game. It's going to require an investment because you don't get something for nothing. But that is another reason to consider a repricer because your sales velocity is just going to go up. And that kind of brings me to a bonus point that I wanted to bring out to you. When, when is it time for you to consider a repricer? Or basically, um, when it just gets to the point where it's taking you an hour, because it's going to get to that point, guys, if it's taking you an hour to go through and reprice every day, that's just way too much time. At that point, you're ready to make the investment. It is well worth it. And on that note, I was saying earlier, you can get here. Let's see if we go back. If we go back, you can see um, when you come over to the website, you you can start a 14 day free trial. We recommend you use my link down in the description and use the code working class hustler for a 45 day, 45 day free trial. Uh, and that will really give you the opportunity to see what the software can do for you.
once you once you go repricer, you're not gonna go back because once you jump from the minor league up to up to the majors, uh, you know you you're not gonna want to go back to the minors again. It's actually a part of your progression, your growth in this business, and if you're serious about it, you have to consider sales velocity. That is what this all boils down to. How fast, how much, and how fast can you move? inventory okay so uh in the next video so this is part one the next video we're gonna do we're gonna get into once you um we got to get you onboarded okay and it can seem a little daunting but not to worry you got me here we're gonna make this easy we're gonna get you going so that when you get started we take all of your inventory get it into aura get it at the at the you know strategy that you want and get you going so that you can get that 30 to 40 percent increase right away um also make sure you take advantage of all of the links down in the description we got plenty of stuff for you for your benefit so make sure you check out all of that um as i mentioned earlier we do have a series on tactical arbitrage and and um, all of that works synergistically together for you to build your business. So check out all of those videos and I'll see you, uh, hopefully this weekend we go live, uh, myself and the working class hustler panelists. That's where we take your questions. We get to know you better. You get to tell us about your success or your struggles and we're there to cheer you on and help you out. So hope to see you there and I'll see you in the next video.